part of our top writing lesson today is also editing. So thank you to those of you who sent in your pop writes that you've done at home, your report on unicorns. So I've had a look through them and these are some spellings that have cropped up in a few of them that were spelling wrongly. So your first job is to go through your report and to check these spellings. Species, legend or legendary, forest, rainbow, wonder, difficult, hooves and appearance. So pause the video where you can see all of those spellings and go through and check and correct any that you need to. Okay, our second job is to go through and make sure that the subheading we have written actually matches the information that we've written under it. So, for example, in your appearance box, it shouldn't be one sentence telling me what a unicorn is. That should go in the what is a unicorn section. The appearance should tell me all about what a unicorn looks like, giving really good vocabulary and maybe a few similes in there too. Okay? The next thing is making sure we've written in full sentences. So you might have made notes on your plan, but they need to be written up in full sentences. So for example, somebody sent in for their fun fact, just this, 1,880 miles per hour. But I don't know what that means on its own. So it needs to be written in a full sentence. So for example, I've written this one. The fastest unicorns can run as fast as 1,880 miles per hour. So I've used my notes, but put it into a full sentence, just like we do every single time we plan our writing. So make sure your subheadings match. Make sure every sentence is a full sentence. Off we go and do that. Okay, our last job okay, is to check our punctuation. So lots of you have sent in work with no capital letters at the start of each sentence or the start of each paragraph. Please make sure each sentence and each paragraph and each subheading starts with a capital letter. Then make sure at the end of your sentence, you're using the correct punctuation. So a full stop for a normal sentence, an exclamation mark for something that's going to shock the reader, a fact that they might not already know about unicorns, and a question mark for any of those rhetorical questions because we know they're really important in our work. Your last job will be to go through and check the vocabulary that you have used. So make sure that you're using the best vocabulary that you possibly can and not just using the first word that comes into your head. I know what a fantastic job you can all do in class, so make sure you're writing at the same level at home, please. So your last thing is to check the punctuation and then to check for any vocabulary improvements that can be made. When you've done all that, you should have a really nice sheet of paper in your pack with a lovely multicoloured border around the edge. That is where you can publish your work. So just like in school, it should be your best handwriting and you should be including all of those improvements and edits that you've made following my instructions onto your published piece of work. Don't feel like you've got to rush because just like in school you've got today's lesson and tomorrow's lesson to do the same thing. Okay, make sure you're doing a really good job editing and improving everybody. 